What's up people, I am here with my Vladimir game and I'm doing my full Vladimir game. It is a request from a uh, YouTuber who, uh, or someone on YouTube who asked me to do a full Vladimir game. So here it is, <clears throat> and I've been doing a lot of uh, play of the day and how to get first blood in top lane with uh, Vladimir. He is one of my mains. So it is understandable that you like to see a full game. Uh, so I'll also be speaking a bit of how to play Vladimir in top lane, uh, like I did before when I did my how to play Victor top lane and how to play Johnny and so on. Where when I do full game <coughs> games and uh, my runes, uh, I'll go through my runes. My runes are actually AP course uh, magic penetration because you when you're going top lane there they have a lot more magic resist so you would like some more magic penetration of course in the beginning and you I also have cooldown reduction of course which is a key element on Vladimir I do not have any lifesteal uh, I mean a spell vamp rooms on Vladimir actually I think it's better for the trade not to have it because you get so much uh, so much from uh, the spell vamp and from spell vamp item uh, hex tech gunblade well, I mean hex tech revolvers and ancient codex uh, and also from the spirit visage that you do not need is I think it's better to have some extra damage which helps you last hit with your Q and with your E so we're up against this Jorvan he is a gold 3 just like me and uh, this is actually a ranked game I'm playing here. Uh, it's solo queue, uh, so they are at the same same level as I am. And I all, when I start platinum, I always start one amplifying tune and uh, one health potion to get that extra health uh, and the extra damage, of course. And then I build it into the Hextech revolvers. But for, for starters, I'm just going to just chill a lot. I'm going to farm uh, and I'm going to wait because Vladimir is not strong in the beginning. All you can do is, th is that and you have pretty long, you have 9 seconds cooldown if you play uh, the way with the runes I have and the masteries I have. Uh, and something that you might want to do if you play Vladimir is to pick up that spell vamp uh, if you feel that you need more sustain. Now I have played Vladimir a lot, so I am pretty safe having more damage than than uh, sustain in the beginning. But if you feel that you need that, so go. Then I suggest that you go with the movement speed and some at the at the utility tr uh, tree, which gives you some extra gold and some extra cooldown reduction and also some extra speed, movement speed, uh, which is great on Vladimir. Uh, if an item that I don't build, but you might build it if you want to go more AP heavy, I go pretty health heavy on blood. I also have health and percentage of health in my rooms. I have that instead of uh, instead of spell vamp because I go pretty tanky when I go blood. But something if you do want to go uh, uh, more AP, it is the twin shadows. It is awesome. It you, it builds from a age of whisper, which gives you movement speed. And it also gives you some magic resist, which is good if you do uh, if you do play mid or against a AP champion. Uh, so here we're gonna barely survive, uh, but getting the first blood, of course, as I often do when I play, play Vladimir. Anyway, anyway, the twin shadows is pretty good if you're going an AP heavy flood, because you can slow them down with uh, the passive, uh, the active. And you can also, anyway, and you can also get that extra movement speed, which help which help you escape and also helps you keep up with them. Because uh, another item that I only build, got it, got it, it so only build sometimes is the crystal scepter. It is a very good item for Vladimir, but I feel that I already have so much health, so that I rather go the Rabadons instead of that. Uh, but but it also depends a lot on what you are up against. If you are up against a health-heavy team, a tanky team, 
you would rather build the Leandris Torment than the Crystal Scepter, because you want to do that health dependent damage, and you want to do that, you want to get the magic penetration which the Haunting Ice gives you. So here we see that I have 21 farm and Jarvan has 12, and he's pretty much going to get uh, owned this game. Uh, and now, when I have my uh, Hextech revolver, I can re I can still go in just and kill him. As you see here, I try to go there and I try to do a straight up trade with him and just trade punches for a while. I can't do that because I do not have uh, enough enough damage to put out just at once. I can put out some damage, but then I have cooldowns that I have to wait for. But now I have a bigger level advantage, but there is something you would want to do. You want to go in there and you want to do some trades, but you don't want to do too much because you're going to end up getting too low health and not being able to, to get that health back. Anyway, here I am going uh, to push him back. He's going to have a very low health and he's not going to... To survive. Oh, he's going to survive, but he's going to go back. And you don't always have to kill your opponent. It's enough to push him back and making him recall to lose a lot of farm and lose a lot of experience, which you do now. So when he goes back, you do want to push the lane, and you do want to push it to the towers, so that he loses a lot of farm and experience to the tower, because the tower will kill the minions. Uh, and as I've said before, this is a game which is where I am gold and I'm playing against goals. So for you who are, who are above that, and please do not say noob or scrub or anything like that. It's just unnecessary, it takes time, uh, it's negative a, a negative attitude, and so on. So keep that in mind. Uh, anyway, the second item I am going for... Uh, is the Kindle Gem. Kindle, Kindle Gem. I don't always build it into Spirit Research directly, because sometimes if you're having trouble against a uh, someone, you should actually not build the Hextech Revolver at first. You should build the, what is it called, the Seeker's Arm Guard for the extra, the extra armor so that you can survive. Say you're up against Pantheon, he will wear you down with a lot, a lot of damage. As you can see here, Jorvan is doing quite a lot of damage on me, so I still can't really take him one on one directly. Right, I could, but he popped his, uh, he popped his ignite right, and I didn't have my ultimate, which I do need to take him. Uh, but if you're up against a Pantheon, you would like to go the. Uh, the Seeker's Arm Guard, just to survive his Spears, because he will do a lot more damage uh, than you can sustain in the beginning. So it might even be smart to, to start with uh, with a uh, Cloth Armor. But I feel confident in in playing Vladimir, so I can go with this directly. And if, you're having, if you are having a good game, you should go the Hextech Revolver directly, because it gives you extra damage. But as I said, if you don't if you don't even can survive, you won't even have the time to put that damage out. So, anyway, I get the Kindle Gem, and then I don't always turn that into the Spirit Visage. If I, and I don't, I don't even know what happened there. I just escaped it. Uh, that was pretty random. Why I escaped it. So, uh, and we were bo both kind of dazzled why that happened. Uh, if someone knows, please just like there was probably some kind of bug. Anyway, back to the build. Uh, after this, I go boots, uh, of course. But just because you have the Kindle Gem doesn't mean you should directly upgrade it, as I've said a lot of times now. Because uh, you only build it for your uh, for, for the cooldown reduction and for the health, which actually gives you some damage. Because uh, you, your second item wants to be cooldown reduction. Uh, but if you build this, and then this, and then you feel that you have trouble against them, because they build magic resist, or they go to kill because of the the ganking, then again build uh, 
build don't build a seekers at this time because we already built pretty much damage build a what is it called a uh, shane west because you're going to upgrade it into a uh, sunfire cape later uh, so build that but if you're having a good game go on and just build into the ancient codex so i'll i'm actually going to why can't i just do it like this i'm actually going to just go ahead and speed up a little bit uh so you don't have to because what's actually going to happen now is i'm just going to out lane this this jarman so much and he's just going to have such a bad game he's going to be so under level he's going to be extremely dived by me because he, he really has no chance and that is because i took my time in the beginning to not play aggressive and actually try to give him the self-confidence of that he can win this lane so when he push all you do is small poke small poke uh, that almost sounds like smallpox. Uh, anyway, smallpox, and he won't be able to do much at all actually uh, when he is so low. But here we're going to just dive him one more time. We're going to. Oh no! Anyway, don't worry, I'll survive this. I barely. I just. The fu fun part there is that I got my. Ah, uh, crap. I got my ghost exactly that moment. I was just waiting for that ghost to so that I, <laughs> I could activate it. Uh, as I said, you should have built boat boots, but I made a mistake and I built the uh, fiendish fiendish codex instead. Uh, if I had the boat boots, I would have been able to escape much easily and I wouldn't have died probably. So there. Now I am building the Shane West. As you can see, I looked at their team, uh, and I saw they had said, oh, they had the majority of uh, of AD. So I built this in case of, because uh, uh, since Sao is actually a counter for Vladimir, if you're up against him in lane, you might have a problem. So you might want to play very, very passive. In the beginning, and build armor at start. Yeah. You want to build the uh, secret armor, armor from the beginning, because uh, then you want both secret arm guard and uh, the what's it called, sunfire cape. So we are going to just kill this. Uh, so basically, he's not worth any monies at all now. He's zero five zero at thirty nine farm. So it's it's not really about winning this lane it's more about I'm going to slow down because stuff is going to happen here so basically I'm going to get saved pretty much there we go I'm going to pick up another kill uh, but anyway uh, damn it said Anyway, they have the majority of AD, so at that case you want both uh, both Sonia's and the the Seeker's arm guard. This is going to happen a lot, a lot of times in this game that I'm there, I'm causing some trouble, trouble, and I'm getting a lot of people killed while I survive. But here we are actually going to make it quite worth, I think. Ah, uh, oh no. But I'm going to survive. But as you as you could see, I got two people killed in my team by just being quite reckless. Uh, but the thing is, the way I play Vladimir right now is I am causing pretty much distress and chaos in top lane. Because as you can see, this Jarvan was zero five zero. And now he is one six one at forty farm. Seventeen minutes into the game. So he is pretty much much useless, and I'm going to force them, and I am pretty much fed with my six to, uh, and we have a pretty good fed ADC. So I am going to force them to be top lane, to be because they can't, two of them can't handle me, so they have to be either two and just play really, really, really good and defensive uh, to try to take me out, or they'll have to be three top lane, and then my team will have all the time in the world to push 
to farm and to take objectives. But this, this, if it's going quite, it doesn't have to go well for your team, because when three, three or two of them, of them are basically just up here trying to protect their lanes uh, from me pushing, they, your team will have an easy, easy team fight. But now, uh, around 18 minutes, I have pushed the first tower, and I have almost. You should uh, almost push that tower before you go down. But this, in this game, it was a little bit early. You see that more and more uh, there is being team fights in mid lane, specifically mid lane. Then it's time for you to leave your lane, go bot. I mean, go mid and join team fights because you need uh, some. You need some items to actually be good in team fights. Uh, that's why you want to stay in lane so long because you don't have that strong early and mid game actually for team fights but now when you are well farmed well fed and here again I am going to get Caitlyn killed and I'm going to survive but here uh, anyway back to the point now when I have enough items you don't even have to have a good game all you need is the specific amount of items that makes you good. You need about 30% cooldown reduction, and you need, which you will get from the Kindle Gem and the Will of the Ancient. That will give you thir uh, that will give you 30%. If no, it will give you 25. It will give you 10. To, wait, no, wait, 10. Uh, uh, it will give you 20%. But you will need about 30, so you will need to have some in your uh, rune pages and in your masteries. So when you're at 30% and you have, or you have these three items I have over here, uh, then it is time for you to move out. Then it's team fight. At that point, you are basically the best team fight that they can have with your ultimate. For what people do not know is that your ultimate gives 12% increased damage. And it, it's not only for you, it's actually for all of your teammates. So if you hit a quadra with, uh, or a penta with your ultimate, the entire team, enemy team, will take 12% more damage from everything that you threw at them. So many of you see that I pop my W very early. And that is because my W scales off health, and I am a health vlog. I build very much health, and I'm also building the the what is it? the flame cape. The, the let's call it the flame cape for now. Uh, some fake cape. Anyway, I build that. So I pop my ultimate into the team, into enemy team, and I pop my uh, pool with the. The sunfire and that just deals massive amounts of damage on them because your pool as i said is scaling off on hp and when you're sitting there on how much hp 2600 uh, two and seven two thousand seven hundred ap at level 14 that is pretty much damage it's actually is let's see here uh there you see it deals yeah, pretty much damage. You can see it here, uh, and that is. Well, and also you get healed that the amount you deal. So you wanna hit as many as possible with your, with your W. So you pop your ultimate. You do your W into everyone. Oh shit, it's happening down here. You do your ultimate into everyone, and I mean your W in here, and you will heal back. The damage that you did by popping it so early. That will just be. That will easily win you the team fight by doing that damage in the beginning, initial damage. And then after that, your ultimate pops and deals. I, uh, it only deals uh, 250, uh, 355 damage now. So, not even. Not, not just do you have a strong initiate damage, you also have a strong damage that just comes back again, uh, 5 seconds after. So, 
it's pretty obvious that you need to hit as much as many as possible with your ultimate, but you need to time it with the damage. As I said, it deals. Uh, you can see a lot of melee infected targets. Uh, target area with a viral plague causing 12% increased damage for 5 seconds. And this is not just Vladimir who get this buff, it's everyone. So that is something that you need to think about. I'm going to try to... Uh, where is Leona? There we are. This Leona is actually quite good uh, for you to know. Uh, here we go. Go to hell and speed up a bit. We're just going to poke now and this this game is basically a one. I don't really know why they didn't surrender but they have a pretty strong team uh, and they might think that they can win but they, they can't because you're overfed. You're just so overfed. Leona, what are you doing? Getting results, that's what Leona is doing. Dear God. Leona, cray cray. Damn. That Kate. Oh well. Back to the build. When you have built this, uh, there is a item that I like to build. Uh, also, after this, you have after that. The, by the way, after the sunfire cape, I were going to say that you were going to build another item, but don't do that because you will have built spirit visage and sunfire cape in a row, and that is two health items in a row, uh, which isn't the most optimal way to go. But when of that you should build Rabadon just to make up for the damage you lost by building all that health you don't lose that much damage because you're Vladimir but build Rabadons but the last item is actually a, another item uh, which is cool action so let's say that you don't really reach to 40% with these three items over here and you want to play the way I play which is health based pretty much health based uh, with uh, with pretty much damage from the health, uh, you do want to build Iron Slaris. It is a awesome item, and you might even be able you, you if you want to you can uh, you can swap Sunfire Cape for Iron Slaris. If you want to build the what is it called the Solnius Hourglass because you get the armor from that instead, and you want to go some more down, uh, want to go some more down, more damage. So what you do there is you swap the Iron Solaris for Sunfire, uh, the Sunfire Cave for Iron Solaris, and you build uh, Rabadons, and then you build the uh, the, Seek the Seeker's Arm Guard. Uh, but the reason you want to build the Iron Solaris is because it gives magic resistance. It gives health re regeneration. Which is awesome when you have the. So, anyway, here I'm just doing a awesome bait. Unfortunately, it's not gonna go as good. Uh, but, anyway, um, the hell. The. Damn it, I lose, I lose it all the time. But, what you wanna. God damn it. Why you want the Iron Solaris is because of that cooldown reduction and the health that it gives you and the regeneration that it gives. And also that extra passive which is a, a, a aura, an aura which is good for your team and also that you can pop a shield but it is mostly the cooldown reduction that you want. Uh, but you, some of you will say that you can get, get this from Deathfire Grasp. Of course you can do, and the Fire Grasp is also a very good item for Vladimir, but when you build as tanky as I do, uh, the Fire Grasp it's, it's not what you want to build. You want to build the Iron Lord instead, it's a lot better. Damn it, and there I died. 
Uh, that's the third time I died this game. Uh, anyway, so I know that many of you have probably never seen Iron Solaris on, uh, on Vladimir, and you've probably never seen Sunfire Keep either, but I hope that the reason to build them uh, that I give you is enough. And uh, you can check my tra uh, track record with Vladimir. I have about 59.7, so 60% win rate with Vladimir in gold uh, 4 to gold 2. Which is the, where I am, where where I am, am here actually. So and it uh, and I you you always are where you deserve to be uh, according to me. Uh, so it's at that level. And if you're you are at a lower level, it will be a great surprise for the enemy team because they will not suspect you to take that much damage and to deal that much damage as, as you do with this build with the W. They used to think that the W is something you do to escape, but when you build as much tank as I do without building the warmongers, you just surprise them. They think they can come at you. As you've seen here, I have survived some pretty amazing uh, damage that they have thrown at me, and I'm still dealing this just this particular game I did deal most damage, of course, which I almost always do. When I play Vladimir, I almost out damage everyone pretty much. And it's not like with thousand armor or something. It's it's very, very much damage. But this Kate did so much damage. It was so fun to see that damage still uh, short. It's just everyone was a little little tiny red bar. And then you could see me and Kate just poof, far away, far, far away. Anyway, here we win, and I do hope that you enjoyed this game and this video. It was a request video, they wanted to see me do a full Vladimir video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, sorry for that this video took longer than it should, because 49.19, they should have surrendered uh, long ago. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope I see some more Vladimir players and hope I see some more Sunfire Capes on Vladimir and some more Iris Flyers on Vladimir. Have a nice day, night, time, morning, lunch, whatever it is at your place. Bye bye.